right, everybody. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a real easy, real simple, that's the goal to make it simple, um, how-to video, and it's how to play Doom on Windows 7. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. Um, now, I have nothing downloaded, okay? I'm starting 100% from scratch, um, so you should be able to follow um, follow along. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly what I have so far. Um, the first thing, well, all right, let's go ahead and just open up the Internet, okay? I'm using Google Chrome. Um, you can use any... Um, you know any browser you choose I just happen to use this one or Mozilla alright so the first thing you want to download just Google 7-zip okay go to 7-zip.org right here and you're gonna want to download one of these two now it depends on if you have the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of Windows 7 um, mine's 64-bit um, if you don't know just download one um, you know if it works then you have the right one if it doesn't then just get the other one so let's go ahead and download the 64-bit. Your download will start in one. There we go. Okay, and it's downloading. And uh, now we have this. So you're going to want to run it. Welcome to the WinZip installation. Okay, I accept the terms. And next, install. All right. All right, well, I hope this doesn't take a long time. Um, but meanwhile, while that's installing, um, let's go ahead and do something else. Let's download. Okay, well, I need to approve it. Okay. All right, now it's downloading. Let's just let this finish so we don't get too much going. Too good. Finish. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got 7-zip. Right here. All right, it's right there on my start menu. All right, next, you want to download. Um, what else do we need here? You need a few things to play Doom. Um, now, here's what I recommend. Go to eBay. And this is the only way that I certifiably, or not certifiably, but definitely know how to do it. Um, let's get Doom Edition. All right, you want the 2004 PC. Here we are. All right, just get this. I mean, th this is too much, $36.99. Uh, that's insane. Uh, that's a good price there. Um, that is even more insane. Um, yeah, dollar ninety nine here, twenty bucks. So you know what? Just bite the bullet, and if you want to get a physical copy of Doom, get this. If you want to get the Doom that um, you can download it on the internet in a numerous amount of ways, just search um, Doom WAD and download a WAD, which is basically like um. It's not Doom in It's basically Doom that needs to have something else to run it. Um, so, yeah, just find a Doom wad. You can, I mean, they're all over the place. Just go to this one here. I mean, look at all these. There's Doom 2, um, Doom, Doom, whatever. You need. This is from uh, Half or not Half Life, but uh, Final Doom. Anyway, you have to get a Doom wad. And. The reason I say go ahead and just do this version of down buying this is because once you install this, oh sorry, once you install this, here's what you do. You go and you find out where you installed it. Now for me, I installed it on my C drive, and it's under Program Files x86 there, and Doom Collector's Edition right there. So now I have Doom, Final Doom, and Ultimate Doom. Um, that's basically all I need. Uh, the contents in here are. Um, now, if, if you have this, and you just download it, and you try to run it, uh, say you want to play the original Doom, you click on it, you get this error. Um, I, I've never been able to fix this, so I ignored it and looked for other ways, and there is another way. Here's where it comes in now. Go to the internet, Google Z Doom. Alright, you want to go to zdoom.org, download, and we're going to go download the version for Windows, right there at the top. And it is... Is it done? It's done. Okay. Uh, well, now everything I download, I have it set up automatically to go to my downloads folder right here. Um, let's. Oh, crap. All right. There we go. So now you can see Z Doom right here. Now here's where 7-Zip, the program you first installed, comes in. Open it up. There she is. Uh, now you want to go to 
Um, you want to find your downloads folder because that's where ZDoom is. So you have to find it. It's under computer. Um, let's see, and then users, I believe. And then Tyler and downloads. There she is. All right, ZDoom right here. All right, now you want to extract everything here. So you don't select anything. It looks like this is selected, but it really isn't. Um, so just hit extract, and it'll extract it right to the downloads um, portion of your uh, computer, the downloads folder. You said okay. All right, it takes very, very little time. All right, now let me close these out. Let me close these out. Okay, now open this up again. Go to your downloads, and you'll see the ZDoom contents are now out here. And instead of in the ZDoom folder, they're out here. And they are almost ready to go. Now, it, it's a mess when they're out here, so here's what I did. Or here's what I would recommend. Just make a new folder, ZDoom files. Or you can call it whatever you want, but that way I know exactly what it is. Now, you want to take everything that you just extracted and get the hell out of here. Uh, you want to take everything you just extracted and uh, move it. So... All right, well, that wasn't... Okay, you want to take ZDoom, PK3, ZDoom, the actual thing, F mode, that's in there also, and licenses. All right, now you open this up, and here's what you have. Now, you can't just run ZDoom, because that would be like turning a console on without a game inside of it. Uh, nothing would happen. So, how do you fix that? Well, here's where that comes in. Going back to my Doom Collector's Edition. Now, if you open up each one of these folders... Let's start with the original Doom, Ultimate Doom. You'll see there's Doom 95, but there's also this, Doom Wad. Notice the size. 12,000, you know, uh, as opposed to this 757. Um, this is the Doom game, okay? Uh, this is like a version of Z-Doom, I guess. I mean, I don't know, but this is what I'm assuming. This is like a Z-Doom, and this is the Doom game that it runs. This is like a console. This is like the cartridge you put in the console. Um... Well, this console is out of date, and it's missing something. So now we have a new console to play it on. So here's how you do it. Right-click it. Hit Copy. Go back to your Downloads, ZDoom Files, and paste it in here. Paste. Right, there's Doom. All right, let's go back and do the same thing, because we want Doom 2 in there also. Doom 2 is not too shabby. So... Copy that bad boy. Did that copy? I'm not sure if it did. Go back to downloads. Put it in the ZDoom file. Paste it. Alright, now you've got uh, Doom 2, Doom. And finally, the last version of Doom you've got is Final Doom. Now, Final Doom is actually, you know, two games. Um, it's Plutonia Project, or Experiment or something, and um, TNT. So, here's Plutonia. You want to copy that. Go back to ZDoom, paste. You want to go back to, one more time, for the very last time, go back to the Doom Collector's Edition thing. And go to um, Final Doom again, and then copy, shit, which one did we copy last time? I think we did Plutonia, so we'll do this one. Go back to download, ZDoom. Yes, that's right, TNT. Okay, so now here's your games. You have TNT, Plutonia, Doom 2, and Doom. Now, here's what I would recommend. Um, why don't you just go ahead and rename these, um, just so it's easy. I'd call this one, like, Final Doom TNT. And then call this one, uh, okay, Final Doom uh, all right, so here are your games. You have Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom Plutonia Project, or is it Plutonia Project or Plutonia Experiment, whatever, and then you have Final, two, Final Doom TNT Evolution. Now, how do you run the games? Well, it's literally this easy. Click, drag, and drop it in Z-Doom. Okay, now it's going to ask you, uh, sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to go ahead and click. Don't ask me this again. Um, which do I want to play, Doom 2 Hell on Earth or the original Doom? Well... Okay, you've chosen not to... Okay, that's that's fine. And boom, Doom's running. Okay, and basically you're all done. Now, here, um, one more time, here are the orders. You want to download 7-Zip, 
you want to get a Doom Wad, which I recommend just buying the CD. It's just the easiest way I've found. You don't have to download anything. There's no risk. Um, you download, and then you finally download ZDoom. You extract the files in ZDoom um, out into your downloads folder. Then just make a new folder, put all the stuff in here, and then you copy your Doom games and um, in here. And then to play them, you just click and drag it to ZDoom, and you play it. And that's it. Uh, beyond that, it's up to you to can you know figure your controls and do whatever you want. So that is it. That is how you play Doom. Doom on Windows 7. Um, there are probably other ways, but this is very very simple. I found and. Uh, Keep in mind, you don't have to have a powerful machine to do this. Uh, I don't have the most expensive laptop in the world, trust me. And um, this runs it absolutely no problem. So, um, so yeah, I hope that helped everybody. And um, good luck. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or even message me, and I'll try and help you out. So uh, enjoy killing all the demons and saving the earth twice, three, four times. <laughs> and, um, yeah, again, if you have any questions, just let me know, and we'll take care, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a real easy, real simple, that's the goal to make it simple, um, how-to video, and it's how to play Doom on Windows 7. Okay, so now we have this. So you're going to want to run it. Welcome to the WinZip installation. Okay, I accept the terms. And next, install. All right. All right, well, I hope this doesn't take a long time. Um, but meanwhile, while that's installing, um, let's go ahead and do something else. Let's using Google Chrome. Um, you can use any, um, you know, any browser you choose. I just happen to use this one or Mozilla. All right, so the first thing you want to download, just Google 7-Zip. Okay, go to 7-Zip.org right here. And you're going to want to download one of these two. Now, it depends on if you have the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of Windows 7. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. Um, now, I have nothing downloaded, okay? I'm starting 100% from scratch. Um, so you should be able to follow, um, follow along. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly what I have so far. Um, the first thing, well, all right, let's go ahead and just open up the Internet, okay? I'm using... Um, Mine's 64-bit. Um, if you don't know, just download one. Um, you know, if it works, then you have the right one. If it doesn't, then just get the other one. So let's go ahead and download the 64-bit. Your download will start in one. There we go. Okay, and it's downloading. And 